So today we're going to have a sprite party. You need to create a new project. We're just going to use some sprites. So I want you to delete the sprite that's already there. And first we're just going to add just some random sprite here. I'm gonna add the airplane and move him up here. And we're just gonna make this sprite spin. So we are going to go to the event block and we are going to grab an event block and say when the green flag is pressed and then we want to go to the control block and say forever and now motion and we want to say that we want this to turn 15 degrees now when we do this and press green it spins. Now, what do you think happens? Let's stop it. If we have him move a few steps, well, let me just say move one step. He may end up up off the screen here. It's just going to slightly move just a little bit there. So that's our first sprite for this activity. Our next activity is we are actually going to change the color of this sprite as he is clicked on, or actually as the space bar is pressed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to events, and when the space bar is pressed, we want to go to looks, and then change our color effect. You've seen this one before. Now, as I click on this thing, I should see the color changing just a little bit. Well, I'm sorry, I was clicking. As I press the space bar, he changes color. Okay, so there's other things you could do. You could do space, you could do up arrow. There's all kinds of other things. Okay, so I'm gonna press stop just so that doesn't annoy me. That's our first one. Now, the second one is... Now for my next sprite, you have to enter the same one as I have going. Um, you need to pick one that has multiple costumes. And I already know that Break Dancer 1 has it, so we're going to click on Break Dancer 1. If you can find another one that has three costumes, you're welcome to it. But it is does have to have three costumes to dance in the way that we want to see it dance. And we are going to have it dance to music. So um, what we're going to do is we are going to say when, we have to make sure we're clicking on Break Dancer, and our event is going to be when it's clicked, and we want to put this in a forever block because we want to keep this going. And he has a new costume, so we are going to go to the next costume. But if we do next costume, it's just going to change instantly, and we won't see it. So we have to go back and say that we want to wait one second. And now, if we click on the green flag, we have the break dancer dancing and the um, plane spinning. Now, if we want to have music, now we have to add the music. So we are going to click on this sound tab. Now, right now, this is the sound we have, and I don't know that we really want that. Um, we are going to find a sound from the library. We're going to find a music loop and listen to it. Doesn't really matter what dance. There we go. So I've just put the funky dance in there, and I need to have them loaded so that they can be called up. And I'm going to say, when this is clicked, sound, play sound, dance funky. And I do have to, again, put this into a forever loop. So now, well, that doesn't sound good. Okay, so that just played once, and you know what I did wrong? 
I just realized I need to play the sound dance funky until done. So I guess it's good that you got to hear me make that horrible mistake. And you know what? I could edit it out, but I'm going to leave it in because that was a disaster. And that's how you learn. There we go. So it's until done. Let's listen to it now. Okay, so now I've got my sprite party done and not done yet, but uh, you've seen me make a disaster twice. So we want the uh, a new sprite, and this one is going to follow my mouse. So I can just, I want the bananas. There we go. So I'm going to have some bananas follow my mouse. So I am going to get on events and when this is clicked I want the banana to point towards the mouse pointer now I could pick something else I could say another another airplane or breakdance or whatever but I'm going to say mouse pointer and then I'm gonna have it move four steps now the only problem is it'll only do it once right now so you can guess what we need to do. We need to put in a forever block. Here we go. Okay, so now I've got the mouse pointer following the, um, the banana following the mouse pointer. Okay, so here's our last one added to the sprite party. I am going to make one of these glide and I'm quite partial to kitty cats, but I'm also partial to cheesy puffs. So there we go. Put all the cheesy puffs in here. Now this is going to glide. So um, there's all different values here. We have horizontal, you know, we have our X and we have our Y axis. Um, we know in the middle that it's uh, zero by zero in the very, very middle. And we want to um, make this thing glide. So when this, we start, we are going to glide. So we're going to go to motion and we're gonna say glide for a few seconds to, let's see, negative 20265. Now, some of you are gonna remember that you could do some random numbers in there if you watched the last one. And I'm gonna have him glide over here to 22038. Let's just do that. So let's look and see what happens now. Okay. But, of course, again, I could put this in a forever block. And you can also tell it that, you know, when it hits the edge to bounce, but we'll learn more about that later. So what you're going to turn in for this activity is all of this craziness going on. So let's take a look. We got a spinner. We got a dancer. We got music. We got a banana following me and cheesy puffs gliding. Oh, how obnoxious. Now, to, to turn this in, you'll demonstrate that, but then you'll also click on each of these and just kind of circle your code there. So I can just take a little look at your code. And as I'm sitting at my desk, I will say, you are awesome. So now we've had our quick little sprite boot camp. We had to start a new project. We inserted a new sprite and we made it spin when the green arrow or the green um, flag was pressed. Um, we made it change color when the space bar was pressed. So remember, you are going to have to press space bar to demonstrate that when you show your um, sprite party. Sprite number two has to dance, and it has to be a different one. You do want you to add music of your choice. Sprite number three has to follow the mouse, and sprite number four has to glide, and it will bounce off the corners as long as you have the right gliding numbers. And, of course, we're going to turn this in on time. Good job. Thank you.